Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on this video. So I'm here to talk to you today about destination addiction. What do I mean by this? Destination addiction, wishing away the present moment, wishing away your whole freaking life. So I hear this, the penny dropped to me. I'm a bricklayer, as you well know if you've seen this channel. So I listen to my radio and it popped up on my radio and it pops up consistently each week. It's such programming, it's programming us each week to do this. Like luckily I'm not this kind of person, but a lot of people are. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. What does that even mean? You know, you're waiting for your week to end to wait for another moment. And this is just a small kind of proportion of what I'm talking about here. Destination addiction. If you're waking up on any given day, waiting for it to be another day, then you're living a sad existence. Every day should be cherished. Every day should be worshipped. You know, we're very fortunate to be living creatures. We're very fortunate to be aware and be living in this world and living in this life. And we should be living our lives with appreciation. No matter what the circumstances is, if we haven't got a decent amount of gratitude, then we're wasting the life we've got. Destination addiction. The addiction of thinking that the next moment or somewhere in the past was better than the current place that you're in. Study this, people. Look at this. Improve your life by doing this. If you're thinking that the future is going to be better than the now, then you couldn't be further from the truth. It's about making the now better than any other moment possible. Because your life is made up of a congregation of nows. You are constantly now moving into the next, moving into the next, moving into the next. It's about what you do in this place that you're situated in. It's your next step you've got to be focusing on. And when I say, you know, it's good to look into the future, it's good to make a plan, it's good to make goals. But the only thing that you have is the next immediate thing in front of you. What is the next step you can take towards them goals? What is the next step you can take towards them ambitions? You see, we constantly get lost in the idea of climbing up the mountain and being the heroic life and gaining everything we want in this life, but we don't look at the next steps in front of us. And we get lost in this, in this kind of dream state of thinking that everything's going to turn out the way we want it. No, it's not. You've got to get up and do it. It's not about waiting for it to happen. It's about making it happen. On the flip side, wishing your life was how it was. Now, I catch this in a lot of older generational people where they look back upon the life at better times. Now, I can't say this because I'm talking from a young's mind, but I've seen this in many different cases of people wishing upon different times and wishing themselves back to different moments in the life. Now, if you're constantly living like that, then you're basically saying how you're living now is pretty shit and dead. Well, it depends what you're doing with yourself. Now, I'm coming from experience. I know a 72-year-old man who still works with me. He still works me on weekend jobs. He's still potters around in people's gardens. He's still batting on. And he's living his best life at 72 years old. He's making the most out of himself. And if you look at him, you'd think he were 60. You know, he's keeping himself young and he's keeping himself alive. He's not let go. And he's not thought that his time has passed. He's not thought that his best moments in life has gone. Because he's still creating things. Now, why is he still creating things? Because he's focused on where he is. This is the important thing about defeating destination addiction. We sit in our current moment wishing it away, wishing it was either what we've experienced and where we've been or wishing it's where we're going to be. Now, that is no way to live. That is no way to get the most out of your life and be the most productive and most joyous person. I don't care what you want to achieve in life. I hope it's something that fulfills you. But you will never get there by either focus too far in front of you, wishing you was there, or thinking about things that you've done. You see, the past is meant to teach us. We're meant to learn from failure. We're meant to learn from mistakes. And we're meant to grow as we do this. Thinking about the future is giving us a form of path and direction to move towards. The present is where everything is active. It's where we choose to do everything. It's where we seek opportunity. It's where we activate ourselves. 
present moment is where we need to be. If we constantly are in different places, we're never going to be where we need to be, which is here. How do we tap into present more? How do we stay more present? It's back to my point of made. It's about looking at the steps that you have immediately in front of you. Now, let me try and rattle my head and try and come up with some examples for you. So I'm trying to make this more digestible for people so I don't just look like a weirdo rambling on. So say my goal, an easy example for anybody to kind of register and get to grips with is getting stronger at the gym. Now, I can th sit here and think about when I used to hit the gym a lot, because I did, I think about when I used to bench whatever and when I used to do this exercise and that exercise and when I used to be in my mum's garage and I had all the time in the world to just lift weights all the time and I got quite big, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I could do that, I could be like that. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could. And that procrastination just sits. Or I could think about the future, about, well, I've got, you know, a vehicle and I could travel more, I could go to the gym, I could do this. I could get down to a gym membership and that a bit make me more ambitious because I've signed up to something. Yeah, 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 I could do that. And the procrastination just sits. Or I could look at where I'm sat right now and bust some press-ups. I could do some squat jumps. I could go find something heavy in my garden to start lifting. I could do something about it now. It's the act of doing. Destination addiction is due to overthinking. It's due to over-imagination sometimes. It's good to imagine, it's good to create, but we've got to think about ourselves sometimes and think, am I actually doing the things that I'm thinking about? Or am I just constantly this thinking machine that's coming up with so many great ideas but not doing anything about them? You've got to ask yourself what you want out of your life. Do you want to be a person that's got a million and one ideas that never happened? Or do you want to be a person that's tried a million and one things and one breakthrough made you that person that you want to be? As I always say on this channel, peace and love to anybody watching this. Make sure you're not getting hooked on the destination, whether that's the past or the future. Make sure you're getting hooked in the now. Make sure you're doing something about your life and make sure you're seeking opportunity every single day. Yeah, man. I hope you watch my next video. I'm going to get on top of my content. I'm going to try and, you know, keep it consistent. Um, I had a bit of a, you know, problem with my tripod. I broke it, so I bought a new one now, and I thought it came today, so I thought I'll make a video. Yeah, man. Take it easy.